Hi, this is Dan in the Master Trader Green Room, and it's uh, just past 2.30 Eastern, so we're looking for some gapping plays, and we, did, we went through the same scanning this morning, but I just wanted to um, scan again our gappers, since today was a phenomenal gap day, and we'll talk about the different qualities and the potential setups that we have uh, either this morning or right now. Here's the spiders. I got the daily on the bottom and just 15 minute chart up here. And we're in a downtrend and we gapped up, you know, roughly a third. So there was nothing to do. But in the morning, it made a, a, a little move to the downside and then started getting um, bullish with uh, oversold market internals with a very high put call ratio. So that's what, that's what put us on the bullish side for day trading since there was no, there's no pattern here to start swing trading and getting bullish. We're breaking out, we just broke out here a couple minutes ago um, on the 15 minute chart. So again, for day trading, it, it, it looks great into the close. Here's the diamonds, same kind of gap, uh, which didn't give us any information because that, that's not a shocking gap. We, we like shocking gaps to be like 80% into a wide range bar and then drop down to the smaller time frame to confirm. The Qs had the bigger gap and they're getting deeper into yesterday's ugly uh, wide range bar breakdown. And they just broke out here also and they have the best relative strength so far. But again, for day trading, I said all of these look great. This is a Telechart 2000, and we have all kinds of different scans based upon what we're looking for, of course. So right this morning and now, let's look at what we have gap up with volume over 1%. This was a, a beautiful professional gap. Twitter this morning on earnings cleared multiple levels of resistance, and then you drop down to your intraday chart and right here is where you had a beautiful buy setup uh, pullback right there. Uh, we, we actually did recommend to our weekly option folks they could sell out of the money put spreads based upon uh, the bullish chart and the high implied volatility after earnings. So I, I'm just gonna go fairly rapidly down this list and, and show you what I'm looking at in terms of a good or a bad gap. Uh, Knowles, KN, beautiful, beautiful gap breakout also. It didn't have a big price void as we call it because this is major resistance like a brick wall. But on the 15 minute chart again for a day trade, here was your entry right there. IBKR, uh, something looks weird with that. Xilinx, very bullish gap over yesterday's ugly breakdown bar. And it's not a great, when we say price void, we, we, we want not a whole lot of congestion or resistance to the left. But intraday again, it's basing at the highs, so it still looks higher. Xilinx, the same. There's, there's a lot of semis here coming back. Uh, the semis have been lagging the broader index. SNBR, beautiful gap over yesterday's bar. Look at today's volume. That's very bullish, and you would have dropped down to the smaller time frame for your entry. That would have been a 15 minute high. And it's still consolidating very bullish on the weekly chart. And it's not great because there's, there's this resistance here, but it still looks great on the 15 minute chart. Tesla, bullish gap on earnings, but at major resistance, and the intraday is a mess, no interest. Echo. It was a bullish gap, but that's step one. Step two is, uh, is there a price void? And step three, actually, is I want a bullish intraday setup. This is not a bullish intraday setup. ASGN, we had this one on our watch list all morning. Bullish gap over this ugly red bar breakdown. And we were waiting for it to settle down. And actually, right now, um, it is, so this one I'm going to put on my watch list here for the afternoon. It looks great um, right now. I was trying to sell put spread on it, but it was too spready. FFIV was another one on our, our, our focused gap list this morning. 
beautiful gap over this wide range um, breakdown bar and this is what I call a price void. Multiple down bars leaves little congestion or resistance to the left for it to move back up. And it was also whippy in the morning which is why we held off on it. But it's, all, it's a bullish consolidation right now. I was also trying to sell an out of the money put spread on this which we love doing on earnings gap trades, but these, these spreads were preposterous. We, we couldn't even do them. Shop, that's another bullish gap over, uh, you know, this one. So remember I said 80% gaps, we like that shock. This one is, it was like 90% and there's a, a price void here. So final step is you drop down to the smaller time frame to find your entry. That one gapped um, bullish, but no intraday setup. This is a over 50% gap, but the intraday, no setup. This one, beautiful gap, CVI. And it, it's just breaking out here again. The next target would be the, this prior high over here. Uh, this was a bullish gap, uh, triple G, but not impressed with the intradays. This one looks good, Whirlpool. I don't, I don't, I'm not crazy about the intradays here, but I'll go ahead and put that on my list here in my, in my other minder. That could be a put spread candidate. Uh, bullish gap, but the intradays are a mess. Uh, I did mention this one. It might head for the uh, gap fill. Here was your beautiful entry right here. You can see how many, look, I, I'm only on 18 out of 515. I, this would take me a long time to go through and this is what we do this one uh, international paper I mentioned to our folks in the green room bullish gap price void and you had a bullish first 15 minute bar and that's just churning its way up that looks great uh, that was Microsoft 70 and see I guess eyeball it you'll never see us bring out a fib retracement and say oh it's 67.2 who cares it's a shock it's like 70 percent but there's no great price void look, look at all these overlapping bars uh, it's so that it, it's a mess to us there's too much congestion that's a mess but it's a nice um, intraday chart no oh, it's um, Chrysler so I think that's a ADR now uh, this was a gap in fail, no interest, no interest. So I'm just going to go a little bit faster here so we can try to find some can some more candidates into the close for our, our folks in the uh, green trading room. And there's, uh, I like this one. Why? Price void went up. This is a bullish retest. Engulfing bar yesterday, breakdown. And today, bullish gap up, roughly 40%, but it's still on our watch list. And I set an alarm when it got close to yesterday's high. Because if it did take out the high, then this is what we call a bear trap. So it's a double bottom bear trap. It's still in a downtrend. The weekly and monthly are a mess. So it's just a short term bounce trade and, and possibly selling an out of the money put spread. Uh, Toll Brothers, daily no interest, but 15 minute is, is basing bullish, no interest. This one, PHM, looks better because I like this on volume. I like this gap in engulfing relative strength to the market here in a bullish 15 minute chart. I'll put that in a minder. Uh, this one, so we have talked about it this morning. SAVE, the airline, it was, it's always been showing relative strength to the sector. It's a, it's a major bottom on the monthly chart. The weekly is bullish. This one I put in a minder. But I can, I can, my eye is just trained from 20 years of trading that I can go through this pretty darn quick so fast that then I have to, whoa, back up. <laughs> Three stocks ago, my eye said there's something that I liked on it. All right, looking, 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 looking. 
there. Let's look like a double bottom right there. See how my eye, eye caught that? Zulu Sierra. Uh, the weekly's a mess and it's not a good directional, but it might be a put spread candidate. There's a bull gap surprise. This is bearish. Had a small, look, here's a great example of a small gap it's 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 lagging the the gaps on the broader markets it's lagging the broader markets right now which are getting you know over 50 percent 60 70 percent into this day's range so if the the weekly chart is were bearish i would have this on my bearish watch list for tomorrow as a bearish one two three continuation here's another one delta kilo it was a small gap, relative weakness. Put this on your watch list for a continuation short under the low of those two bars. That's relative weakness under the week's low. Match.com looks lower, but the weekly's iffy. There's a nothing. So th this is the process we go through and we have different types of scans of course again depending on what the broader markets are doing and what we're looking for and we do this every single day in the green trading room looking for opportunity together and then when we find a, a you know we do day trading scalping in there we do everything and but for the swing trades on stocks ETFs and options we then would uh, formally send them out to our subscribers via um, email and <clears throat> text alert. Here's another energy has been lagging miserably. This PDCE, another bearish uh, one, two, three to the downside. All right, so you, you get the idea. Let me look at a couple um, bearish gaps. So the, these are gap downs over 1%. And I, let's get, so with the market holding strong, I would ideally be using this gap scan to see if there's any that were either a climactic exhaustion gap or one that negated the bearish gap down. And we would then look for a, a bullish setup to go uh, either long stock or option trade. This was a big gap down AMD this morning. And we actually, uh, uh, Greg uh, Capra, was instruct told everyone what he was doing and he had a beautiful long um, scalp within the first 30 minutes and those are those are trades that we do all the time also vne this is an I, a recent ipo uh, fairly you know less than a year this gap down went nowhere so this is still very weak to all-time lows it's not an ideal entry because it's far from the declining 20 but it is, uh, it looks horrible. Let's see if I can find you one that is a bullish gap that negated the gap down, which turned bullish. I guarantee you I will. I'm just trying to wrap up here on the recording. So there, you know, breakdown, continuation. See, it's a number. There's a lot of still weak things out there. WPM is weak. Here's a nah, Duke Energy. Nah. And and Greg likes to call this factory work, <laughs> meaning using the master trader strategies. I don't care what you throw at us. We have the tools and the approach to trade anything. McDonald's here, we were actually watching this on this bullish earnings gap up day, and it's a one, two, three, four continuation. You can actually keep that on your long watch list. Yeah, these, these still no love for a lot of stocks out here. Alright, say so yeah, yeah, that I the the tight I gave it a name that it's see this one was nah that's not quality, but I give it a name 
called bearish gap that bullies. So if you have a bearish gap that then fills the gap within the first 30 minutes, that's actually bullish. Um, here was a bearish, we talked about this earlier, XEL had a bullish bar close yesterday and then a bearish gap negating that. So this is what we call a, a breakout failure. So that's it. That's 15 minutes here. I'm going to conclude the, amount, the, uh, the uh, lesson here on trading gaps. Let's just see where we are here. So we had a nice little breakout in the indexes. It's approaching 3 p.m. reversal. So what we'd be looking for is to buy, if you're a day trader, to buy the next pullback here. Um, if it, you know, has less, you know, less than 40% pullback and gives us a, a bullish setup on the five minute chart. If you'd like a trial to the green trading room, go to mastertrader.com forward slash green trial. We give you a free no brainer three day trial. And don't forget to subscribe to the Master Trader channel at YouTube if you'd like to continue to receive valuable information on trading and investing stocks and options and ETFs. Good trading, everyone.